<laughs> What'd you say? No, nothing. Yes. South Africans live by the sand, more doors, more whores. Probably. Are we? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This week, I am in, actually, hold on. Where are we? Port Elizabeth, South Africa. <laughs> Away. Away. Amy has tagged along to a car show with me. Sorry, James. Why would they diss me? I thought they were my homies. And we have found ourselves in South Africa for the first time. Pretty excited about it. We did have a lot of issue getting here. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen we missed two flights, lost all our baggage, got stranded in London, missed two nights in Cape Town, got here just in time for the event. We landed last night, but we didn't actually land. We had to drive. I've got nothing left. These wheels were custom made. You added the lips okay. to these bottle gaps. Is that normal here that the people would kind of make their own wheels? Yeah, because of the axis, we don't get roti forms and we don't get, you know, things like that. So the guys will take stock wheels and add wider battles and lips to them. Adam, how are you? How are you? Oh, cool. I like that one of the first things you showed me was the, the toolkit. I didn't even ask you to show me the toolkit and you straight away opened it. Is this original or you yeah. went and collect all the bits? No, this is this is original. Where are these made? This was made in Johannesburg, I think. If I'm not mistaken. I think it's one of my favorite cars so far here. So, <laughs> yeah. so in South Africa, you see Mark 1 Golfs basically everywhere. When did they stop making them? It's 2009, I think. Only 10 years ago. Well, 13, 14 years ago. Right, they're like the UK Clio. <laughs> But they're all really clean, which is actually what amazes me so much about them. There's like one there, one here. What's rare about this one? When they finalized, they made 500 to end off. And this is number 413. So this one's rare. But they have obviously different bumpers and a different front grille than the normal one. Yeah. Because they all look normal. The, the last 500. They, oh, just okay. had, they just had the badge with the number. Good to see this stupid camera goes everywhere in the world, not just in the UK. Four doors, more holes. What'd you say? No, nothing. Yes. South Africans live by the sand, more doors, more whores. Probably. They don't get three door, well, they don't get coupes, basically, 36 coupes. They only get the sedans. Not scientific, but because we are low income, you basically get a car per family. Yeah. So it's not like I have a car, the wife has a car, the child has a car, you know. So that's why four doors are more popular here. Like same, why'd you right? say that? Isn't it? You know what I mean? Okay. What the f is this? Can you inform me what has happened here? So he's taken a, a station wagon, BMW, and then he's converted it to a pickup. What, what kind of car is this? This is a Toyota Tez. Is this a South African or? A... Yeah, South African car. Wow. They're kind of cool. Thank you. Did they have them in Tasmania? No. <laughs> this is the uh, Mark 1 Hunt. Here's another one. I think this one's got a Ferrari badge on it. Is this actually it's meant to be a pickup? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't just made this into a pickup? No, no, no. This just shows pickup. you how much I know about these cars. <laughs> have you seen one of these before? <laughs> I have no idea what it is. I would say it's <laughs> What's she doing? She's waiting to get her Instagram photo. A white woman's Instagram. We're getting that footage, baby. International vibes out here in SA Shores. So this really confused me earlier because I said to somebody, oh yeah, the guy with the rotiforms on the M3. And then obviously when I walk back past it. Ah, I didn't know that. <laughs> so I actually thought like the guy was just humoring me, like being like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I know which car he's talking about, but he obviously doesn't know his wheels. But you know, if you look around the other yeah. side. I actually thought for like a few minutes, like Adam, you really don't know wheels. Like you're really stupid. Yeah, there you go. Nice tea. I love this, yeah. ILB Drivers. <laughs> ILB Drivers Club. 
ILB Drivers Club, South Africa. Oh, 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 oh. that's got a good oh. ring to it. It's got a good ring to it. ILB Drivers Club. <laughs> I'm actually not here to make a video, which is very rare for me, so it's kind of weird, like walking around a car show and not filming everything. I'm basically here to be a judge, so we're picking top 10 cars, and then we have five other categories. So I think so far, I also like the F80, but I can't pick that because that guy is one of the judges. But I like this Sirocco. What's your favorite car? You're standing for James here, so you're gonna have to tell me. I haven't been paying attention. I will go with... She's just left me now. That red one? Yeah. Okay, so Mark won golf? Sure. Surprise, surprise, I think the E30 is probably one of my favorite cars. Do you know what that car is? Which car? This red one? Yeah, it's a BMW. BMW. I just know it's a BMW because it has BMW on its mud flat. <laughs> yeah, so the E30 is probably one of my favorite cars so far. I like all the Mark 1s. They keep laughing at me for liking all these Mark 1s, but that's look, it's pretty clean. That looks good. This was Amy's favorite car, apparently. This one? Yeah, it's based on Lady Drive. Our last two judges being international guests from across the sea, baby. Maris, we were meant to give out one award. We managed to end up giving all the awards out. Yeah, yeah, that's quite funny. Huh? What do you think of it? Use our pros. Come on, barman. Cheers, guys. Cheers to the camera. Cheers. Cheers. What's up guys, so it's day two. It's the winner shoot. So all the winners from the car show yesterday have been parked up in the town square, which is like this little area that's been renovated in downtown Port Elizabeth. I wanted to do some drone shots for you, but my drone, because of my bad luck, will not fly. So I'm gonna give it a shot walking around with the drone, using it like a gimbal, like this. So if it looks shit, I'm sorry. You wanna tell me a little bit about this area for the vlog? One of the oldest towns in Port Elizabeth. It was abandoned uh, since the new government took over like 20, 30 years ago. People just started um, revamping certain areas and creating architectural, creative spaces. Because this is like a small city in South Africa compared to like Joburg, Cape Town. We have like a lot of talent here in terms of artists, in terms of creatives. It's a really a cool city and you can see that there's definitely a bit of creativity in the city as well, you know. B is like a vibe. Cape Town and Joburg, they like have its flavor, they're like international cities, but like the people here, they have fun always. Fun ass place. It was kind of cool yesterday because normally a car show is all about the cars, not really too much about the nightlife aspect but here it's all about a festival it's like very much a festival vibe from like six o'clock there was just music right through to midnight they had two of the biggest artists in south africa shikana and the, and the guy uh, Kev, shane eagle we had a good chat with shane his dad's from ireland that was pretty interesting having a uh, chat with him it was kind of cool that there was like such a festival vibe really different to like any european show that we've ever been to quite a small show but you know it's all about the atmosphere about the people yeah really enjoyed it so Here's the winners that I helped pick yesterday. Of course, there's a few BMWs. So these guys keep laughing at me because I really like Mark 1 Golfs here. Back home, wouldn't really look at Mark 1 Golfs too much, but they're flipping everywhere here. And this is the one we picked for International Judge Prize. Is that what it's called? So it was the last 500 Mark 1 Golfs made, and this is number 413. Yeah, subtly modified, looks really nice. Of course it's black, I like that. And uh, yeah. So I think the guys are pretty much wrapping up the shoot here. That's, that's gonna be basically it from South Africa. Pretty chilled one. Thanks so much to the guys for flying us out here. Been really, really great to see another car culture that's emerging. I'm sure there's gonna be big things coming from here very soon. 
Yeah, I watch all your videos, bro. You're gonna put you me on the, the channel. You're in the vlog now. You're gonna put me on the channel? <laughs> I mean, shot Ethan from South Africa. <laughs>